Organizers living in the Springfield area uh, gathered together with civil rights organizers too, holding a rally in downtown Springfield calling for the city's police commissioner, Cheryl Claprud, to step down. And that's exactly where we find our Western Mass News reporter, Perseida Landa Verde, with more on what they're saying. Perseida. Taylor, this rally is still happening right behind me. Now, when it started, many local community members were chanting, Sheriff Clapfrood has to go, and Sarno silence equals violence. They're calling on new leadership to head the Springfield Police Department. The rally was organized, organized by the Massachusetts Senior Action Council. They say Commissioner Clapfrood responded unprofessionally to their concerns regarding racial bias within the police department. They came let in a letter. She dismissed community concerns about how the department interacts with people of color. When we received Commissioner Claproot's letter day, dated May 5th, we were in disbelief. Mm, yeah. Many of us even had a physical reaction to her words, mm, yeah. cringing at her inability to express any understanding of black and brown people realities. Mm, yeah. Her lack of empathy or understanding of the experiences of black and brown residents in the city of Springfield is unacceptable. unacceptable. We reached out to Mayor Dominic Sarno. He tells Western Mass News, I am just coming off a very productive meeting with City Councilor President Marcus Williams and Police Commissioner Cheryl Claproot. We had a very good and open dialogue on sensitivity issues and we plan to continue this dialogue on a regular basis. He goes on to say, I understand that we are not 100% correct and that we face challenges, but we are always striving to be better and make things better for everyone in our community. Now, Western Mass News spoke to Commissioner Claproot last week, and she tells us she will continue at her post so long as the mayor calls on her leadership. For now, live in Springfield, Brisa Delanda Verde for Western Mass News.